What's up, guys? This is Rono, Season 7 Alliance War, taking on Novio, uh, facing against my two buddies over there, Pud and King Cobb. Shout out to you guys. Uh, anyways, this is kind of a different kind of war. I'm going to give you uh, some background before this war and explain kind of, dude, it is crazy. All right. So the war before this, uh, Omni lost. I'm not going to go into that, but more importantly, I lost. I did horrible. It's my worst war of all seven seasons. So I come off that loss, my personal loss, into this fight. And so I got to prove it. I'm on Path 9. I got my Corvus. I got my Blade. Uh, got to end in Quake. And let me tell you what, guys. I'm like super excited to like change, change the game plan. I have my invulnerability boost. I have uh, 200 of the Cosmic. I have every... Big boost to crazy, so I'm like ready for this fight. First, I'm going to start out with the Hyperion. I'm going to chip, 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 try to get them down. Try to bait those SP2s the best I can. Uh, Hyperion is one of my favorite champs. Uh, he hits hard. He's got that nice power gain. I love him uh, like for offense, AQ. But uh, guess what, man? Here on defense, some reason, Kabam. I mean, he could get a tough champ if you just can't get him to bait. But on this simple node, man, watch this. I get the SP2s at him every time he tries to blow on my ear. Whisper some sweet nothings, man. But I'm not having any of that, man. About to throw some throwing stars in his ear. Get it, you know, get off me, bro. Anyways, uh, it does take a little bit of time, though. He's not really uh, taking that much damage. He's on this uh, node, you know, so he's bleed immune. Uh, so that's like dragging this out longer than it should. All right, bait this out. Come on, finish him. Come on, finish him. All right, I'm going to try to bait out uh, SP1, I guess. All right, chip, chip, chip. Get him to the end. KO. All right, man, that's it. All right, my thought process on the second one, I brought Blade because I see Thing is like, he's out there. You got to have a bleed champ. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring Blade. I did not think this out because this is a villain node. So I'm going to go in to a villain node with Blade and guess what? Power lock on me. And power lock on Blade means guess what? You can't heal. So <laughs> I mean, that wasn't well thought at all. So I'm just going to try to bleed this guy. I'm going to parry. I'm going to do heavy. Parry heavy, just rinse, repeat. I'm gonna try to look this. I blocked, but he went right through it. I mean, big head man, he could be a jerk on this node, and uh, that's all I do. I don't let him get to my head. That was a bad pun, but I'm just gonna parry heavy, parry heavy. That's it, and just get out of this. And let me tell you what, guys, I take every one of these SP ones. I try to dodge him out in the corner, but man, I'm just like not playing it right. I'm just like so laser focused on just. Perry heavy man and just try to get out of this. He's at another SP1. Dude, I take it to the legs again. And this is getting close, man. I'm sweating this. So I parry heavy and just keep rinse and repeat and it works. And man, not the prettiest fight, but a win is a win, man. All right. So this next fight, this is the whole reason. Uh, you'll see. So I died twice to Domino. And this is the worst part. Before this fight, Legacy said, hey, it's a 565 Domino. You got something to handle that. I said, yeah, I got Corvus. And listen, the real answer to this is a tech. You're supposed to bring like a vision. Uh, but listen, I fight her all the time on this node. I don't have any problem. I get to my windmill, boom. I've got my invulnerability on. Uh, I can take four hits. And guess what? I take two of them right there. I try to beat this SP2, and I'm like, come on, girl. All right, she throws the SP2. Everything's looking in my favor. I'm going to try to get to my windmills. The only thing that would have made this better if I had a power-up. If I had a power-up, then that's it. But I take this SP1. I was immune, so that's it. My invulnerability's out. She's taking off nice damage. Windmill, boom! She whiffs. Look, she dexes out of it and comes back. She's got an SP2. I got to dodge this. And, dude, she does some massive damage off that. Anyways, I chip, chip, chip. Try to get her down. And uh, check this out. SP1 and that's it, but I'm almost out of charges. She throws an SP1 and that is it. Barely any damage and I'm dead. Now I break rule number one. I go in immediately after a fight. You're not supposed to do this. The only reason why I went in immediately is because I still had the invulnerability boost and you know how quickly Kabam puts those out like never. So anyways, I kind of blame Kabam. Anyways, I'm not going to use both my invulnerability boosts in the same one. I just like, let's go back in. I messed up and let's see what I can do. So I put in my health real quick and I go directly into the fight. Rule number one, never, ever, ever do this. Uh, number two, bring a tech champ. Number three, windmill boom, rinse, repeat, and that's it. Here we go. Uh, by the way, don't blink on this fight. You're going to miss it. 
Uh, I, I start out pretty nice at chip, chip, chip. I get her to her SP1. I try to get to the SP2. Uh, push her to her SP2 right here. I'm going to try to dodge out of this. And uh, watch. Try to bait. I don't want to take an SP3 to the face. So I keep trying to bait this. She throws the SP2. I'm in the corner. Chip, chip, chip. She's at an SP1. I try to dodge out of this. Uh, but indestructible. That's fine. Look how close she is. Low on health. She chips me away, takes away my indestructible, and boom, KO. I can't, like, if you blinked, you missed it. I died. That's what happened when you blinked. I died. It was terrible. So I'm like two deaths. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What do I do? I'm not going to be three deaths and run out of items and get stranded. Like, I'm really sweating this. I'm like, should I tell these guys and get them to come up and save me? I'm like, man, usually I just roll domino. Like, a million thoughts going through my head. Anyways, I boost up with my health uh, all the way up. I use the big boost. Uh, that way I have Blade as backup as well. You see Blade's actually full. Uh, trick with the big boost, if you use the big boost, you actually get more health than if you use the cheap boost. So I'm kind of using that trick. And, oh, so nasty. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm out of items. So I'm out of items and just going to finish Domino and I got to finish Quake. Here it is, man. I'm like falling apart. All right. Time to watch me. Ugh. All right. Good news. I actually survived this one. I have no indestructible. Uh, I put on like a healing one. I'm like, man, I got to get some kind of boost. I'm going to put a healing. You know how slow these healings are, man. <laughs> With Domino taking on chunks of life like this, man. That's a lot of dancing. All right. Here we go. Go back in. Try to get to my windmills. Chip, chip, chip. She's playing aggressive. She's at her SP1. I have no backup, man. I cannot take this. She throws an indestructible. Boom! Takes a big chunk of health off. And she's taken into the face. She's at her SP1. She burns the floor. I'm going to try to drop her here. Drop! KO! Oh, dude. She gets back up, man. I'm seriously nauseated right now. Go chip KO! Oh, ho, ho. Man, I thought the whole time when I hit her with the SP1, she got back up. All I can think about is three deaths. Immediately when she got back up, I was like, yep, three deaths. She's going to go into SP3. She's going to go SP2, man. I'm sweating this. And I come off this thinking, hey, I can take out Quake at least. I take, I play Quake all the time. She, you know, super easy on this node, especially with Corvus, even though I have like lower health. And uh, that's what I do. I go in... Uh, First Quake here. Get to her SP2. That's what I want to do. I'm going to chip, chip, chip. The SP1's easy to dodge, but I just like that SP2. I don't know why. She just broadcasts it a million miles away, so it's easier to dodge. But anyways, chip, chip, chip. Try to get to her SP2. Come on. She's in the corner. She drops a bomb on the floor, dodges it, throws an SP2, and guess what? Windmill, boom. Another one. Windmill, boom. All right, man. That's it. KO. But man... Anyways, I let the two deaths uh, sweat it. That's two wars in a row. I said, you know what, man? I just feel bad. Everybody else did awesome. I'm like the weakest link of the alliance. I know you should never feel that way, but I talked to my buddies in KNBA. I was like, hey, guys, I think I think it's time that I join you guys. Uh, Platinum won. So I left Omni, and I went to KNBA, which they got a new name. Uh, so that's where I went. Anyways, uh, Legacy, Edo S, uh, Hector, all those guys were excellent over there. Uh, those guys are going to do awesome, but I just did, I don't know. I just got to go back to Platinum 1, uh, and I was like, all right, guys, let's just do this. And here we go. Uh, then I realized, wait a minute, these guys are master? All right, man, back in another master. All right, that's how I did it. All right, hey, thanks, guys. For